Have you been searching for a fully dynamic trebuchet in Houdini? Well, I think you found the right video. Today we'll be looking at the model, fully built procedural inside of Houdini. We'll be filling it full of rocks. We'll be showing the animation and the starting position, and we'll be firing it. This is fully simulated inside of DOPS, and we'll hopefully be knocking over some castles. Right, let's jump in. All right, this is us in Houdini, and this is the trebuchet asset. It's a counterweight trebuchet. There are a couple of parameters here that I'll run you through, and it's fairly straightforward. Uh, it's fully set up and dynamic, so whatever you edit here, it will update in the DOP network, and it will be able to fire the projectile. So the first one is the arm position, and you can slide this from all the way down to all the way up at almost 90 degrees. The pulley system and the projectile will calculate and not intersect so be in the correct position for you for the whole way down here there's a rotation which is the angle um, for aiming the trebuchet there's an arm length one as well which is just the length of the arm have a short of thing uh, and then there's also rope length which is the length of the rope here as you can see so you can have a play around with these settings to see what will throw the projectile the furthest. And then there's also the counterweight, which is the actual mass of the counterweight of the trebuchet. So we're going from 1,000, 10,000 here, sorry, and then all the way. And it will fill with rocks as well. These are just visual, but this counterweight will be passed to the simulation. There's a couple of things in optimization. So there's an output of the proxy, which is what will get simulated. There's also model details, so you can turn these off. And then there's also a surface detail which will run through a wood effect and metal effect, which I'll show you now. That took about three minutes to cache. It will basically go through every plank and beam and create this kind of wood seamed, damaged and not effect on all of them. So some quite nice detail. You can control the poly reduce. I'm keeping it quite low here just to keep everything speedy in the viewport, but you can upgrade create that and there's also UVs that will come with this um, so you can kind of texture and things like that yeah so once you've got all this set up all you have to do now is click on the sim button so to run you through the simulation start frame fire frame basically that will be when the arm is released at what frame you can do a release angle so how it works is it's the rope relative to the arm of the trebuchet so when this arm is at the top here, it will be this rope. Once it swings right round, it will be the angle that comes from the top here, this angle here. Uh, so at the moment it's at 25 degrees. You can also click and release at frame, a, a specific frame that you wanted as well. It's how you basically control the trebuchet itself. So let's do a little fire test. So there you go, there's it fully simulating and launching into the air. See, that's actually flying quite far. So as I said, this is all dynamic. Even the, the pulley system on here is all simulated. Also, what I've introduced into the HDA itself as just like a little game is if you hit the add target here, it will spawn a little castle that you can try and knock down. And if you change the seed here, it will just put it into a random position with a slight angle variance. So you can you can try using the rotation to try and aim that and knock it down. You can just hit random if you want one to spawn. So here I actually tested with three different trebuchets with different arm lengths and different cable lengths as well. And it's interesting to see which one throws it further. What would your bets be on? I was thinking the longer arm, but the shorter arm flew it way past the tower itself. So anyway, download the file in the description, have a play around, See if you can hit some towers.